Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and today we are going to do an important topic for SBA CBA 2023 exam that is income recognition and asset classification. But a important topic hai. this is an RBI master circular. Master circular hai jo jis mein thodi thodi updates aati rehti hai. Students whenever someone calls me or someone asks me sir uh, RBI circular kitne padne hai. I tell him to study at least two three years of RBI circulars along with the master circulars. Some of the master circulars are not updated in last five six months. For example, the priority sector lending. Very important for your exam. The IRAC norms are very important. The KYC norms uh, very important. Some of these circulars are actually very basal norms are important. All these circulars are very very master circulars are important. So what we are going to do today, we are going to do the basics, basic, uh, we are going to cover the basics of IRAC norm through MCQs. These MCQs have been repeated in the past few years. In the SBA CBO exam, there is a question hai, and I'll, I'm going to discuss that with you. Let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts, okay? SBA CBO 2023 course is already available on bankexamstudy.com where we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series and live sessions. Link to join the course is available in the description. So first of all, let me tell you what is an NPA? What is the definition of an NPA? So NPA is an asset of a, of a bank or a lender. Okay. Where interest where interest or the installment is not received for 90 days. 90 din se kisi ne payment nahi kiya hai. Jo borrower hai, usne EMI apna pay nahi kiya hai. That becomes an NPA. In case of an overdraft or a CC account, it remains out of order for more than 90 days. Out of order in case of a CC or overdraft, uh, it becomes out of order. Isko hum NPA nahi, isko hum out, or, out of order bolte hai, right? A bills remain overdue for more than 90 days. In case of agriculture, the installment for the, or the of the principal or uh, interest thereon remains overdue for more than two crop seasons for short duration crops. And in case of long duration crop, one crop season tak, it remains overdue. Okay. Amount uh, of liquidity facility remains outstanding for more than 90 days in in, the, in uh, respect of securitization transactions in respect of derivatives overdue uh, receivable representing uh, the positive mark to market value of derivative contract for more than 90 days and it remained unpaid for 90 days this is the definition of NPA and out of order accounts okay. please remember that very important uh, this question was asked in the previous paper the two duration uh, the two crop season okay this exam mein aa chuka hai ek bar. very very important okay when an asset becomes uh, non-performing when an asset fails to generate any income to the to the borrower to the lender uh, or any income to the lender or the bank it becomes an NPA okay let's move forward In how many categories banks are required to classify non-performing asset? Please check this. Uh, there are three categories of NPAs. Okay, the first one, the substandard asset. 90 days ke baad to dekhye, uh, NPA becomes overdue ho chuka. An asset is overdue for more than 90 days. It's an NPA, right? So after becoming an NPA, then asset remains NPA for 12 months. It is a substandard asset. From from 90 days, 90 days to be okay asset. After 90 days to 12 months, three months se leke 12 months, it becomes a substandard asset. Okay, an asset is classified as substandard if it remains as an NPA for a period of less than or equal to 12 months. So an asset remains NPA for a period less than 12 months. It's a substandard asset. After that, it becomes a doubtful asset, and then it is up to the bank. Uh, when they consider a debt as uncollectible. Jab ek bank ko lagta hai ki isse paise nahi liye ja sakte, ye paise doob chuka hai, then it becomes an, a loss asset, okay. So these are the three categories and this was the question, okay, very important. Advances against a term deposit, FTSK against NSC, IVP, Kisan Vikas Patra, life policies, 
any loan taken against these uh, investments against these assets cannot become an NPA because anytime you can sell off these securities and recover your due so you cannot uh, become um, an NPA if advances are taken against these securities. What is an NPA uh, net NPA difference between gross NPA and net NPA? See, there is a possibility. See what is happening in a loan account every month or let's say on first of every month uh, you are recognizing the your income right so EMI har mahine aap charge karte ja rahe ho. let's say it's a 50,000 rupee EMI every month out of these 50,000 rupees there are certain charges certain charges are there certain provisions are there right you are adding up that okay so when calculating the net NPA, you need to deduct any provision or unrecognized income, any income, unrealized interest, any unrealized interest, any unrealized interest, any other credit balance, you need to deduct that while calculating the net NPA. In 1991, a high level committee was set up to examine various aspects of financial statements. Who was the head of this committee? M. Narsimham was the head of this committee and which committee recommended that the bank should adopt uniform accounting practices in respect of identifying the net uh, the uh, identifying the income and bad debt provisions narsimum committee was that okay on which basis an income is recognized on performing assets so i hope you already aware of act, uh, actual and the uh, accrual basis okay so what is the difference between actual and uh, actual basis and the accrual basis actual basis means when uh, when the income is received only then it would be recognized for example first of jan ko aapka ek due ho raha hai uh, first of feb ko aapka emi due ho raha hai okay so you are recognized the income on first of jan then first of feb that is accrual basis while the EMI actually received on 5th of Jan, okay, 2024, and, and this one is not even received. So on 5th of Jan only you are going to uh, note that you are going to uh, record that that is actual basis. That is the difference between actual and accrual basis. Okay, on which basis income is recognized on performing assets on performing assets income is going to be recognized on accrual basis on loss assets or NPAs it is going to be uh, recognized on actual recovery okay if bank is not able to recognize uh, no, not able to recover it is an NPA then ye actual receipt pay is co recognize karoge. what is the desirable provision coverage ratio it is 70 percent of the NPA provision coverage ratio is provisions divided by gross NPA it is desirable is 70 percent a bill purchased discounted should be treated as NPA uh, or if the bill remains overdue or unpaid for a period of 90 days. Okay. When the balance outstanding in a CC account remains in excess of drawing power for more than 90 days, it becomes out of order. Yahan pe aapka wo concept hi use nahi ho raha. NPA wala nahi bolte hai. In case of a cash credit uh, account, the balance outstanding in cash credit amount remains excess of drawing power. Drawing power is 5 lakh rupees. You withdrew 6 lakh rupees uh, and it remains 6 lakh rupees for more than 90 days, then it is out of order. In case of overdraft CC account, which concept is applied out of order concept is applied NPA wala concept is not applied. A dairy account uh, becomes NPA when the installment of principal or interest thereon remains overdue for more than 90 days. A dairy account is not an agriculture account. Wo jo, uh, season hai, harvesting season wala rule yahan pe implement nahi hota. A dairy account is a normal business account. Okay. So this rule is not implemented because a dairy is not a agriculture business. Okay. What does a term when does a term loan becomes an NPA uh, when interest or uh, the uh, the installment principal is overdue for more than 90 days in a loan account where the principal or interest is overdue for a period up to 30 days and account has been showing sign of incipient distress. 
सो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट हैपन वॉज इन केस ऑफ ह्यूज लोन्स बिग लोन्स हजार करोड़ का लोन है पाँच सौ करोड़ का लोन है फॉर अ बैंक इवन इफ द फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट इज अनपेड जो फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट भी डिफॉल्ट हुआ है do not wait for 90 days to you know to to record it to to tell that to the rbi that ki default ho chuka hai i mean on the very first default you need to uh, mention it as special mention account sma account okay so after the very first default very first uh, emi default it becomes an sma 0 account and after that sma 1 31 वन टू सिक्सटी डेज एस एम ए वन एस एम ए सिक्सटी वन टू नाइन्टी डेज इट इज़ एन एस एम ए टू आफ्टर दैट इट बिकम्स एन एन पी ए एंड देन द फर्दर एन पी ए कैटेगरीज आर देयर ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड इन अ कैश क्रेडिट अकाउंट इफ द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल इज नॉट सर्विस फॉर नाइन्टी डेज इट बिकम्स आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर ओके दीज थ्री आर द वेरी गुड कंडीशन प्लीज टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट when an account becomes out of order if the outstanding balance remains continuously in excess of sanction limit for 90 days if the limit is 5 lakh rupees right so for regularly for 90 days it remains more than 5 lakh rupees let's say it remains 6 lakh rupees it's an out of order account okay in cases where outstanding balance in the principal operating account is less than the sanction power but there are no credits no credit continuously for 90 days so let's say the limit is 5 lakh rupees okay the limit is in cases the outstanding balance in the principal operating account is less than so limit is 5 lakh rupees but you withdrew only 4 lakh rupees but there is no credit in the account you are not crediting any amount okay you took the money and now you are not putting in anything in, into the account then it becomes an out of order account or let's say 4 lakh rupees aapne withdraw kiye there is an interest of let's say interest of let's say 1% only uh, for a month uh, let's say 4000 rupees ka interest hai in a month right and you are not even depositing 12000 rupees there is not even credit of 12000 rupees the credits are not sufficient to cover the interest cost then then also you become out of order three uh, jo hai uh, cases hain when an account can become out of order if the outstanding balance remains continuously in excess of sanction limit that is so for sure it becomes out of order secondly if there is no credit uh, or if there is credit that credit is not sufficient to cover the interest cost आई I मीन mean, जो पैसा लिया है उस पर कुछ इंटरेस्ट लग रहा है और आप जो पैसा दे रहे हो वो इंटरेस्ट भी नहीं कवर कर रहा है तो योर सी सी अकाउंट बिकम्स आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर स्टेटस इन एग्रीकल्चर अकाउंट बिकम्स एन एन पी ए वेन द इंस्टॉलमेंट इज रिमेन्स ओवर ड्यू फॉर वन क्रॉप सीजन इन केस ऑफ लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन क्रॉप्स और टू क्रॉप सीजन इन केस ऑफ शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन क्रॉप्स ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Uh, this question was asked in the previous paper so that is a star question ye sare question kabhi na kabhi pichle exams mein aaye hue hain so i hope you like the today's session all the questions that i have shared today have been asked in the previous paper and i wanted to share these questions with you and even in the future i'm going to share really important questions with you stay updated with us um so sba cbo 2023 course i i think you should join that i mean the really high quality study material is provided in the course we are providing the video classes the notes quizzes test series well researched study material instead of going here and there instead of buying books on amazon this is the one stop solution for sbi cbo 2023 exam this is the whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts okay and uh, you can also join the courses for bank of maharashtra or central bank of india credit officer exams list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and uh, have a very nice day bye bye